All right, guys, look what I got here. I got a uh, vintage G.I. Joe that has clearly seen better days. And uh, it's one of those talking G.I. Joes. Don't think he's going to be doing much talking in its current condition. So we have a split arm, uh, forearm there, or bicep. We do have the arm. What I'm going to attempt to do on the arm, which is the least of my worries, is I'm going to attempt to uh, put some glue between those two spots there and put a clamp on that. And uh, like that. There's the arm. The fingers are in good shape. I don't know exactly what his history is, but wow, is he seeing better days. Whew. So um, his neck still moves uh, inside this ball joint, which is loaded with some sort of glue. Both sides. This was definitely an amateurish fix. Maybe a kid did this back in the day. I don't know. I don't know the history of this G.I. Joe. It wasn't mine growing up. But as you can see, his string is no longer in his box, his voice box. There's uh, like a wound that's been painted on his torso there. And uh, yeah, so we're going to take this apart. See if we can clean this thing up. It's horrible. And see if we can reattach this head. I got to get beneath all this black gook here. To see what's in there. I don't know. We'll be back. All right, first things first. Let's see if we can get this. Uh, I got that head over there soaking in some 97% alcohol. 91% alcohol. Let's see if we can loosen up that black shit that was on there. I don't want to get any of this crap in my coffee. Let me have a drink. And I'll set that aside. It's got two uh, screws here in the upper torso at the shoulders. Again, this is a Pandora's box for me. And, uh, now he's not going to be perfect. But the idea is just to see if we can get the uh, voice box to work and get his head attached in a fashion that's there. Wow, there it is. Wow. You see that? See what just happened? It just sprung itself back. To where it belonged. Actually, it kind of startled me. But, uh, yeah. Let's see what we got here. That was bizarre, but it definitely found its way back in. Let me see if we can get that guy out of the way. Let's see what we got here. This here is, uh, definitely out of, uh, where the hell does this go? I see. I think. I see. Where does it go? Something's definitely not right here because you can see the two teeth gear here. Let me see here. This big cog here. And that idler there are already touching, and that's not right. That's definitely not right. So what's going on here? I think this has to come down like so. Down into this. Like that. But it looks to me like... Like what? Something not right here. He ain't right. That's in there. That doesn't seem to be broken. But see, that has to go in there like so. See, now that, I think, is the proper configuration for that. I'm not getting any sound. Oh, well, kinda. That means the uh, needle in there is barely touching the record. Why is the question. Alright, well. I see the needle down there. Oh, well that might be my fault because... I don't have this 
in here properly. I don't want to destroy this mechanism. Oh, no, I just completely... I see it. This is just a speaker. There is... Our record is in a form of a plastic band right there. You can see, hopefully you can see those in there. And it looks like there's not enough pressure inside this record mechanism. But, let's see here. I see. I know exactly what's going on here. So, this has to go down. That is your speaker right there. Just like that. I hope you can see that. And it looks to me like there was a spot of little glue on there. I'm going to clean this up. I'm going to spend a little bit of time cleaning this up. And then, uh, you know, who knew that this would be the easiest part of the, the repair job? You know? The question is, how do we get this... Is there something missing is a question because I say that because I don't see any uh, key locks in here to kind of hold this together so what do we do about that okay let's see I don't think we're gonna hear much sound without a speaker in there, so question is I don't want I don't want to put this in the wrong way. It seems to be locked into place there. Let's see if that's it. I don't think that's it. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think that configuration is proper. So let me get this back out. Pull this diaphragm out. By the way, that is what it would be called. And put this back. I don't think that's it either, because you're not getting a... Uh, it's not seating down there properly. So, the other way is right. This is wrong. No, there's no way. Oh, maybe. Hold on. Let me see if I can get this off. That's not it. Yeah, that needle is barely touching this band here. And, uh, this is wrong. So we know... That goes down like so. Question is, why is this needle not putting enough pressure on there? I don't know. Anyway, let me clean this up. This is my progress so far. And, uh, oops, got caught up on my tripod. It is sometimes you get nothing. And I've checked the needle. Yeah, it looks like, sound like Alvin and the Chipmunks there. You can see the record moving inside there. Hold on. It's like a, reg uh, a record ribbon. And then instead of the little platforms like the older voice boxes. See, then sometimes you get that blank. You get nothing. And I think it's a matter of these tension springs that are in here, and we'll we'll talk about those in a minute. I'll show you. I think these tension springs get old, and they don't do what they're supposed to be doing as they did when they were new. If that makes any sense. Anyway, I'm going to spend a little more time cleaning this up. Uh, I'm going to, I, I figured out what's going on with the head. I thought it was attached to a piece of string like this. 
here like these legs are. But now, the head should have been attached with one of these guys. And I'll show you. I did manage to get a lot of this crap off of here. But you can see, maybe maybe these are available for sale. But you can see here. So that's what's broken and somebody put all that glue on there. And I guess I don't blame them because at the time this probably broke. There were no resources out here, out in the world to get parts for these things. So, you know, just a kid trying to put his G.I. Joe back together. And So, yeah, we'll get him all cleaned up and then uh, I'll see if I can resource one of these guys here. I don't have any of these other than what's on the G.I. Joe currently. So, but, uh, yeah. G.I. Joe, a real American hero. Anyway, we'll be back. All right, let's go on with an update here. I did find the parts I needed to attach this head. So I, I'm going to order those. So this is going to have to be a two-part video because I don't know when those, those are going to get here. What we're missing, as we explained earlier, is a part just like that. See that? So I went ahead and ordered... A new shoulder uh, bicep up here for 99 cents. So I don't have to worry about gluing that. And a new set of these and new rivets. Which is also identical for what's missing here. Now, what's going on with the vi voice box here is there's a piece missing. It is a cross brace here that keeps this stuff all together. It's gone. You know, just it was an MIA, missing in action. And uh, you see how they ported this together when they assembled it? Well, that plate's gone. It's broken. So the only thing that's left in there are these pegs. So I'm going to knock these pegs out, hopefully with this little bitty thumbtack here, and see if I can come up with something that's gone. So I knocked that right out. That wasn't a big deal, as you can see right there. I'm not gonna, I don't, I can't find that back plate. I've tried. I can't, nobody seems to have it. And yes, I did look on eBay to see if there were any parts out there for the talker. And I just missed a couple of torsos by a day or two. And, uh, there. I got all those holes cleared. Now what do I do? My first thought was um, just take a piece of rigid wire and run it through here and then fold it over, at least to keep the, the body, the uh, halves of the voice box together because that's what's going on. There's no pressure to keep this together. It wants to fly apart. As you can see, that idler or that, uh, yeah, the idler gear and the, and the spring mechanism just wants to pop right out of there because there is nothing holding this together and everything needs to be cleaned with alcohol you got to clean this little voice ribbon it's essentially this is nothing but a record player just in ribbon style and you can clean that with alcohol on a q-tip by just pulling now So yeah, clean all of this stuff, including that spring that's rolling there. That spring's got a bunch of crap on it too. So yeah, let me do a little more work on this and then uh, see what I come up with. You can see how this is already dislodged as soon as I put it down. So yeah, we got to come up with something for that. So let me see if I can get creative.
not the best, but you know what? It's going to work out pretty good. We'll see. Hold on. Okay. So I'll screw in that side. Right there. One in there. And I just got to put a locking mechanism, which is going to be a screw. So stop the plate from swiveling like that. So I think I'm ready for that too. Be right back. All right. Well, this is about as good as I'm going to get this. I have that plate installed there. And uh, I, I, a piece of foam is going to have to be put back here because I believe the original voice box back panel here had a piece of foam that rested against this back here to give it a little more pressure against the speaker. And I'll show you what I'm talking about. If you just pull this thing... You hardly hear anything. But if you put a little pressure on that back plate, you hear more volume. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a cotton swab and some alcohol and clean this record ribbon and this spring. This spring probably doesn't need it, but I see the nastiness on there, so I'm just going to do it. Be right back. All right. So I got a piece of double-sided tape here. I'm going to lay it right across the back side here and uh, give that a try with the two halves together. And uh, I don't know. That's enough. That body's in rough condition. I did look, uh, you know, got to keep my eye open, I guess. And again, we're still back to that. Supposed to say reporting for duty and other tracks. This is Charlie Company. Yeah, this, I believe, I honestly believe this, that once that head is in there, that'll act as some sort of brake mechanism for this wheel and slow it down. Because listen, if I can get my finger in there a little bit more, I can't get my finger in there at all now. Sound like Alvin and the Chipmunks in there. Yeah, so anyway, I think we're going to leave it here for now. Because I ordered uh, new parts. I ordered some new parts. I certainly did. Um, I didn't order these new. That seemed to be okay to me. Real quick. Let's put this together. Flip this guy down. And flip this guy over. Bring this guy up. Hold on a second. Oops. I need a crochet hook. Would be nice. Come on. Alright. So there's that. Then... I'll just stretch this out a little bit like this. Put that together. Alright, let me put the screws back in here because I think I'm done until I get my new joint connections. And I will do a little more work. Well, actually, a lot of work trying to get this black stuff off of here in our next video uh, wow
here's a way maybe I can hit a break in here. Hold on. No. All right, well, we're going to leave it there for now. It's definitely a two-parter because I need to get parts. And so, uh, yeah, leave him there. We'll do a little more work on that neck joint. Got to pop that rivet out when we get our new joints. Put our new piece of uh, swivel in there. And, uh, yeah, maybe do a little. I don't think I'm going to do any touch-up on his head. I mean, he's in rough condition already, so. Yeah, that's definitely going to have to be worked on. This neck joint here. This is uh, horrible. This is just, I'm not sure, glue. Yeah, it's kind of crusty. So, yeah, my guess is, uh, it's like somebody trying to melt it on there. See how it's all deformed here? Uh. All right, well, we're going to leave it there for now. I don't want to get aggravated and start destroying things because that's what happens. And, uh, yeah. So, okay, guys, stay tuned for part two. Uh, probably be a few days before it's up because I need the parts. So, yeah. Hey, thanks for watching my videos. I'm Wolf out.